we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And we received a decent pump in the overall market. Bitcoin climbed over 41,000. And we know when Bitcoin takes a small pump, the altcoins are going to follow. But guys, we have the dollar is strong. And that is very, very scary. It is strong as it's ever been. After all this money printing, the world reserve currency is standing strong. But we know this is all part of the plan for the takedown. And I'm going to get into the IMF later. Now, of course, guys, when Bitcoin breaks down, Ethereum breaks down, altcoins break down. But going into this bear market, we're going to see more and more use cases. And a lot of these cryptos are going to decouple itself from each other. And we know Ethereum is going to be one of them. We know the merge upgrade is coming soon. But guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, volume, tether, USDC. And of course, guys, we have the Fed. Do not forget to pay attention to the repo. It did slightly move up. Now, we have the IMF warning on crypto again about avoiding sanctions. And also, the IMF warns of rising cryptocurrency risks in the emerging markets. And the IMF is playing the Hegelian dialectic. The fourth industrial revolution footprints and the foundation is over in the emerging markets. Cryptocurrency, stable coins, this digital economy allows them to sell the us versus them. We know the dollar has been used to cripple nations. Now that control is over. Now it's time for Bretton Woods 2.0 to destroy the U.S. dollar. But you're going to have the rise of the digital yuan, the rise of China the dragon, which at first is going to give the illusion that people get to take back the power. And remember, that's all they've been selling when it comes around Bitcoin but they're using the Russia and Ukraine actually to take away all the privacy. So guys, this is nothing but a movie. Get your popcorn, sit back, and let it play out. 
And then also, guys, we have Grayscale. Do not forget to pay attention to the Grayscale well. They moved up about $600 million, but also we have, we have Vanguard is going to be pulling out of the Ethereum and Bitcoin trust over the counter. So, guys, it's definitely something to watch. I don't know how much they actually was trading, though, but definitely we are seeing the chess moves being played out. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have Monero's hard fork coming in July. And guys, we know anytime that we have a hard fork, that token normally moves up a little. Also, we have the BNB token burned over 700 million in the first quarter. Now, we have Robinhood agrees to acquire UK crypto platform Zigloo. Also, we have Kevin O'Leary back Wonderfy to acquire Canadian crypto exchange Coinberry for $38.5 million. And we're going to see a lot of consolidation going inside of the bear market. We know the big banks, big corporations are going to be swallowing up these companies. We already saw the blueprint in tech. Only thing we have to do is follow the money. Now we have Anamoka Brands buys major stake in Alcee Digital Servicing Agency, B Media Group. And we know how important marketing is. You can move a whole generation. And we know when it comes to this gaming, gaming is going to move the millennials and Generation Z inside of the metaverse. And we know metaverse is another marketing ploy. Now we have crypto exchange coin DCX raises $135 million to support Indian Web 3. Also, we have Qcoin back companies launch a $100 million fund to also develop Web3 and NFTs. And we are constantly seeing billions and billions of dollars being thrown at the fourth industrial revolution. Over the next two to five years, we will not recognize the places that we live. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have Moonbird flies to NFT's top spot with $290 million sold over four days. And lastly, we have Telegram blockchains, the open network, gains ground in Africa. And guys, we know the emerging markets are about to rise, but they're going to rise under the NWO's control. They are selling this fourth industrial revolution as an equal opportunity global order. But we know better. We know blockchain gives them all C&I. And these cryptos give them the ability to program money so the NWO can tax the globe. And remember, the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, where everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the zero, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. 
But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.